Welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. Uh, today I'm just down here in my indoor growing space and I'm just looking over my petunias that I had started from seed. Um, I've made a couple videos about how I've started these from seed and then transplanted them into these three inch pots. And I've had them under the grow lights, about two or three plants per, per pot and they are really getting um, pretty tight in here and I see that they are starting to shoot out some blooms as well. But we are still um, a good six weeks from being able to put these outdoors. So I just want to try and slow them down a bit. I'm going to start off by uh, topping off and pruning some of these uh, blooms back. Um, it should create a thicker, more fuller plant but then I also need to uh, separate these into bigger pots. So I went out to my, uh, my shed greenhouse to see what I have for pots that I can up pot these to. And I have a bunch of these, but I do like to put these into my bigger planters and barrels outside. So um, I'm gonna try to keep them flourishing here, but give them some growing room. I'm just gonna pop one out, you can see that there is some roots coming out the bottom. I'm just gonna see if I can have a look at see what kind of roots this we got going here. Wow. These things are getting very root bound. You can see the when they when they uh, start kind of circling around that they are trying to go somewhere and need some more room. So first of all I am going to top them off. Then I'm going to give them a drink of some weed concentrate here. Petunias are heavy feeders um, and I have only been giving them water so far so I think they probably need some uh, some fertilizer and a little boost to keep them going. So I'm just going to take my clippers here and clip away some of these flowers. Just going to go above. I don't know if you can see this here. It's going to go above um, a set of leaves here and just clip these away. Another mistake I made when I started these was I didn't keep them very well marked as far as colors. I had red, I had red and white, I had white, I had purple, pink. Um, some of them were uh, miniature type petunias, so it's going to be a variety this year. Not really going to have any themes going with specific colors because until they start blooming, I guess some of them may bloom before I get them outside. I can figure out what colors they are. Very excited that these have turned out so well. Um, I tried to do these from seed last year and they didn't do too well, but um, if you check out my videos, they actually um, were fairly easy to get going. I used my grow box that I made uh, to get these started. And I just used a a large tray of uh, seed starting mix and sprinkled the seeds throughout because they're very tiny seeds and they sprouted within um, about a week and before they got too big I just pulled them out of the tray and up potted them into here into these three inch containers Petunias are a great flower here to grow in this, in uh, my zone here, zone three. They're very hardy. They can withstand a little bit of frost and they bloom continuously all summer long as long as you prune them down and give them some uh, food occasionally. They, um, they're great to have in your pots outdoors. And 
they're also very easy to collect seeds from so you can re you know replant them every year and not have to uh, purchase from the greenhouse I spend a lot of money on flowers at greenhouses so this year I'm excited that I will uh, won't be buying as many petunias I don't think I'm gonna mix up a container of this seaweed fertilizer into my watering can here and give it a give them a drink today uh, let them adjust to the the shock of being chopped down and then tomorrow I will uh, get them into some bigger pots so I'm just going to put these back under the grow lights here So I will just let this soak up all this water today and next time I bring you back we will up pot these into bigger pots. Okay so let's get uh, potting up some of these petunias. I'm going to show you how it's done here. I have a big uh, container full of uh, potting mix. I'm just going to moisten this up with a little bit of water. You want it just moist enough that it kind of holds together when you squeeze it, but it's not dripping with any any water. Okay, so here we got one of our plants that we're going to take apart. And one thing about petunias and most flowers, they're pretty easy to uh, rip apart without doing too much damage. There's lots of roots here, and I can see that I have three separate plants here. So I'm just going to gently rip them apart. Try to contain as much roots with each as you can. So you can see I got one here. And lots and lots of roots and this third one here so I've got a bunch of these four inch pots some of them are kind of beat up but I try to reuse them for as many years as I can this might be the last year for this one but so I just partially filled up the pot with some potting soil and then I'm just going to set it in here try to get all its roots inside and spread some dirt around it Oops, sorry it's a little messy but these will eventually look better in a few days once they start growing again and this should be able to just stay in this pot until I'm ready to plant it outside in my containers or in my flower beds. And I'm going to be just bottom watering these. So I will be just um, putting them in a tray and it'll be soaking up the water from the bottom. It also makes it much easier to uh, tear these apart when the soil is moistened. So make sure your, your pots um, aren't too dry when you're taking them out otherwise the roots kind of and the dirt kind of falls away so you want it to be nice and wet so it sticks together better and you if you don't have um, pots like I have another thing that works really well is these plastic cups or the red solo cups uh, what I've done with these I used these last year I just take a pair of scissors and snip away just a couple cuts on the bottom so that when you um, bottom water, of course it can draw, wick up the water that way. So these work good, they're nice and deep and uh, you can put your plants in those too. It's a cheap way of doing it without having to go and buy a bunch of pots. You can see this one is really, really root bound here. So just gently pull it to try and keep as much roots with each plant as you can I'll just stick that in there you 
kind of want to do it right in the pot like this or else you're going to have dirt everywhere and these um, are going to be taking up a lot of space now indoors so I think it's time to move them out to my garage which is it's a heated garage it's fairly warm out there now and I got some some big windows so I can put these on the shelf out there and they'll hang out there till it's time to move outdoors also just make sure that you press down your soil so you don't have any air pockets in there as well so that's just another tip to keep in mind I will um, keep pinching off the flowers probably for another week or two just to uh, let these get really well established and focus all their energy on their roots instead of flowering and then when it gets closer to uh, moving them outdoors that's when I'll just let the flowers come and then I'll be able to identify what color they are too hopefully by then too. I probably pick up you know half a dozen or ten or so packs of petunias every year for my barrels because I use a lot so these are the one kind of flower that I definitely will try to collect seeds and grow myself um, but if I was to try to grow every type of flower that I usually like to buy um, that could take up a lot of my time so petunias is going to be my focus for this year okay so here is the final home for my petunias this is where they're going to hang out till they get outside they're uh, in a south facing window here in my garage and there are quite a few more petunias than I expect it so I've got quite a few here and they are taking up a lot of valuable growing space here so I better rethink how many other flowers I want to plant indoors and uh, try not to have so much success and so many plants so if you want to uh, find out how these flowers do and kind of watch the progress till we get them outside along with all my other indoor starts please don't forget to hit the subscribe button please leave a comment and uh, hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when the next video is up on the channel thanks for watching